hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is joy and on this channel we talk about all things social media marketing content creation tips and all things along those lines in this video i'm going to share with you six instagram seo tips that will help your account become discovered by other people who have not yet found you before we get started what is instagram seo now seo refers to search engine optimization which is a set of tactics that people who write blog posts use to help the search engines find their content so when it comes to instagram seo we are going to apply optimization strategies to your profile to your bio to your posts and to other elements of the platform to make sure that you're visible to other people who have not yet found your account once you implement the right seo strategies it means your account will appear more in the search results meaning you will get more followers you will get more engagement and probably more conversion without further ado let's get into those tips the first step going to be doing keyword research just like traditional seo one of the factors that instagram considers when it comes to instagram seo are keywords now keywords are specific words or terms that are relevant to your niche or to the type of content that you are putting out by using keywords in your bio by using keywords in your captions and in your hashtags instagram will get signals of what your content is all about therefore your content will be shown to the right people and improve your chances of getting seen in the search results using keywords the right way will ensure that you have more chances of appearing in the search results and therefore being discovered by more users. Keyword research means that you're going to sit down and take some time to discover the terms that people would use if they are searching for your content. If you are a nutritionist and you wanted people to find your account, what terms do you think they would be searching when they go to Instagram? They'll probably be searching for nutritionist, they'll probably be searching for nutrition tips, they'll probably be searching for maybe things like weight loss tips. So those are what we call keywords, the exact terms that people are going to search when they are trying to find content like yours. They are going to use Instagram's search bar and google itself to find what trending keywords what popular keywords would people search for if they're trying to find content like yours once you have identified three to five keywords that you want to focus on which means that that is the type of audience you want to attract you are going to creatively and strategically use these keywords in your captions in your bio tip two is optimizing your instagram profile for seo now what does it mean to optimize your profile optimizing your profile means that you are going to get the keywords that you've discovered and place them in your bio place them in your username or your profile name so that when someone goes to instagram and they search for example nutritionist your account is going to be one of the accounts that appear at the top of the search result so what you're going to do is you're going to create a value proposition or a value sentence and you're going to use that in your bio however in this value proposition you need to make sure that some of the keywords that you recently selected will appear in that bio statement so that when someone is searching your account is going to appear in the search results it might not be at the top but it will appear somewhere in the results because the words that people are searching for are already existing in your bio the next thing you're going to do you're going to go to your profile name so your profile name is different to your username your username is the one that has the at sign for example at joy akatkunda but your profile name is the one that appears right on top of your bio your profile name go to edit profile and then you're going to add for example mine has joy and then it has a slash and then it has social media marketing and then content creator coach so when someone searches for either social media marketing or content creator coach my account is going to appear in the search results for either of those terms you can add about two or three keywords in your profile name just make sure that they are all relevant to what you do and to the kind of value that you offer the third tip is going to be creating seo friendly captions and hashtags now hashtags and captions are very fundamental when it comes to seo and the discoverability of your account the posts that you see in your explore page or in your suggested feeds are posts from people who are either strategically using their keywords in their caption very well or they are getting a lot of engagement adding keywords to your captions is going to help you 
rich people for whom the post you're making is directed at so if you're adding keywords to your caption make sure that you add them naturally within a sentence you have to create a caption that is going to make sense to the reader and not just throwing them in there because you want to get discovered when it comes to hashtags you're going to want to use industry related hashtags and niche hashtags and specific hashtags that are relevant to the exact post that you are making because for example for me as a social media marketer today i could make a post about instagram tips so that will have industry related hashtags and hashtags that are relevant to the post for example it could be instagram tips so another day if i make a post about how to grow on tiktok I'll probably use industry hashtags such as social media marketing but post related hashtags will be like tiktok tips or tiktok growth tips so you see that there will be a difference between the post that was about instagram and the post that was about tiktok the hashtags will look different another thing to note when it comes to hashtags try to stay away from hashtags that have a lot of posts that have been made already for example posts that are in billions or that have over 50 million users and posts already try to avoid those hashtags i would advise that you look for hashtags that have 1 million less 1 million and fewer posts on them hashtags that are around 10k 50k 30k posts usually help you get good engagement and a niche that's not very competitive you can go for the popular hashtags but also try to make sure that it's not just the popular hashtags that are within your post caption using location hashtags now this might not work for people whose content is not limited by location for example if you if you are a content creator and your clients don't need to be in a specific location however if you are a business owner and you need to attract clients who are in a specific location using location tags is going to help you get discovered a lot for example if i am in uganda and my clients are best in uganda if i use a location tag uganda and someone goes to instagram and they search uganda my post is going to appear in those search results because I constantly use a location tag of Uganda. However, if your business is not limited by location, you can even use a tag of, for example, London or Zambia, even if you're not in those countries. What this means is you have potential customers from across the world. If you use location tags very well and someone is searching for content or for experts in that region, when someone searches for solutions in that geographical area. That's all the tips that I had for you today. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye